Welcome back. Now let's talk about the Certified Water Education Ghana. The primary objective of this initiative by the Ganfos Safe Water and funded by the Paul Du Jensen Foundation is to build certified technical vocational education programs for students in Ghana to increase the capacity and skill level of young Ghanaians in the water sector. Benjamin Filskov, who is a Senior Director, Strategic Initiative and Collective Action Organization, Global Water Center, is my guest. Good morning, Benjamin. Thank you for joining us on the show. Good morning. Thank you very much for having me here. So, briefly, tell me a little, tell me briefly about this initiative that you're spearheading. Uh, Global Water Center provides uh, education, innovation, and collaboration to keep rural water uh, sources safe and flowing for good. And in uh, 2021, Grundfos Safe Water casted the vision, and uh, we co-developed this uh, TVET concept. Um, TVET stands for Technical Vocational Education Training, and the focus here is to build and implement a, a strong water curriculum to uh, enhance the sustainability of uh, rural water systems. Uh, really, really to strengthening uh, water ecosystems through an uh, established uh, local institution, the, the TVET system, which uh, we want to, uh, to strengthen. And that's, that's uh, system strengthening. We, we all know that water is a key priority to the government of Ghana and uh, to many other uh, countries uh, globally. And uh, by professionalizing the water sector, we are enabling safe water provision and uh, creating jobs, uh, boosting youth employability. Right, so, believe... okay. This project is um, towards increasing employment for the youth in Ghana, right? So what are the key components of this technology developed for this purpose? The key components uh, of uh, this, uh, this program is um, uh, of this um, curricula developed uh, includes components such as uh, pumps, boreholes, solar pumping, uh, design, operation and maintenance uh, of uh, small uh, water enterprise uh, systems and um, water resource management. And, and it focuses on, on ethics within water as well on the national certificate one and two levels. These curricula, they're, they're designed uh, through collaboration with uh, industry uh, and educational experts to ensure that they meet the uh, uh, current and future needs of the water sector. And they have been approved by the CTVET board uh, to align with, uh, with certified TVET program requirements, focusing on practical skills and, uh, and, and knowledge that meets the, the industry standards. So you have already set up a laboratory at St. Paul's Technical School, right? Can you describe how this facility, you know, enhances the learning, teaching learning experience of the students in this school? Yes, uh, the project has established a, a lab at St. Paul's Technical School featuring a, a demonstration stand for solar pumps and uh, equipment for water quality testing. And these facilities, they provide uh, students with uh, hands-on learning opportunities, uh, enabling them to apply the, uh, their knowledge in practical settings. And uh, this learning approach helps students better to understand the, the complex uh, concepts and prepares them for real-world uh, challenges in the world sector. So that means not only are the students benefiting, but the teachers are included. How exactly do the teachers also benefit? Is there a training of trainers program of something or something of the sorts? Please shed more light on that. That's correct. Uh, there is a training of trainers uh, uh, program and uh, it's uh, uh, implemented uh, through uh, sessions where the teachers at the school, uh, they're uh, trained uh, together with partners and uh, industry experts. And this approach ensures that uh, the educators are well equipped with the latest uh, knowledge and uh, teaching methodologies um, relevant to the water sector as it looks today and uh, and as it looks in the future. And this, uh, the impact of the training of trainers is significant as it uh, enhances the quality uh, of the education delivered to the students and uh, ensuring that they uh, uh, that they're 
uh, relevant, that they receive relevant uh, um, uh, training to the industry. So how long have you been operating? How long has the Grand Four Safe Water Project been operating, especially here in Ghana? And how has the reception been? The reception was uh, very uh, positive um, and uh, we have uh, worked on this program since uh, uh, late 2022 um, and uh, we have just launched uh, the, uh, the new certificates, national certificate one and two. And um, I would say that the, the goal uh, looking uh, forward is, um, is that uh, we are envisioning a model for other countries with uh, similar uh, TVET systems and by demonstrating success in, in Ghana through uh, curriculum development and uh, practical training facilities uh, uh, and improve pedagogy, this uh, project can be replicated uh, in uh, the water sector across uh, the continent and uh, this uh, approach is uh, not only aiming to enhance youth employability and professionalize the water sector, but also promote uh, a sustainable water management uh, uh, practice in, uh, in, in the continent. Right. So you intend to replicate this project across the country, other parts of the country? Also Do you intend to... Yes, we're also looking to uh, to replicate and scale it um, in in Ghana, and are in discussion with uh, with partners about that. So, what does the future plan look like on the African continent for the Gun Falls Water uh, Safe Water Project? We're hoping to uh, to uh, scale um, the the program to several other uh, countries um, in uh, in East Africa and West Africa and um, and are uh, discussing how to lay out those plans how do you fund these projects because this is a charity charity project is it is it not that's right it's uh, it's been funded by the paul u jensen foundation okay. and um, and uh, also through collaboration with uh, unicef uh, we've also received proportions of uh, of funds to uh, uh, to, to work on this uh, program. So it's uh, uh, going forward, it will, um, we're looking to, uh, to private foundations and uh, uh, other uh, stakeholders to fund this uh, uh, collaborative uh, effort. Do you have any partnerships with Ghanaian entities yet? We do have um, uh, strong partnerships uh, with uh, several um, Ghanaian en entities. Uh, in fact, uh, this uh, program uh, includes uh, 16 uh, partners so it's uh, it's really um, you could say it's collective action through a so-called quadruple helix approach where we're bringing partners together from the civil society from the government uh, from the private sector and from academia and um, it's a it's a framework of collaboration for development where each actor brings a unique perspectives into play and uh, where where the needs of the most marginalized is um, is addressed and it's a it's a participatory model um, of problem solving recognizing that each sector's perspectives in addressing these challenges uh, to the people is uh, is relevant uh, so we do uh, collaborate with um, with Ghanaian ngos and um, with uh, with the ctvet and with the tvet uh, we collaborate with um, uh, with the Safe Water Network, with uh, UNICEF, and with uh, Clean Earth, <clears throat> and uh, several other partners. Well, thank you, Benjamin Filskov, who's a Senior Director, Strategic Initiatives and Collective Action for Global Water Center. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much for having me.